So you might be wondering why I'm dressed up like this and it's actually because today is International Lolita Day and usually on this day Lolitas from all over the world dress up in you know their favorite coordinates and they go out and have tea parties and you know party and cute stuff and I thought since I was doing a video today I would just dress up um, in spirit of Lolita Day. My blouse and my dress are from Baby um, and my ring and my little bows right here are from Forever 21. So my favorite lip product of November has been the EOS lip balm. It's like, it used to be rounded. It's been really cold here in Jersey so I always have to make sure that um, I have like some sort of lip balm or chapstick. But it's really good, really moisturizing, and I've been using it a lot. My favorite TV show of November and for like the past couple months has been The Walking Dead. It's not just a show about killing zombies, it's about the aftermath and how, you know, how people deal with, you know, something as crazy as a zombie attack. Every episode ends with like a cliffhanger and it's just so crazy. I'm just like, oh my god, I can't wait another week until, you know, the next episode. And of course, my favorite character is Glenn. I love him. He's so cute. I think you guys should definitely watch it. My favorite nail polish of November has to be the NYC In A New York Color Minute Quick Dry Nail Polish. It's in the color Prospect Park Pink and I actually have it on my nails right now. So this month um, I went on a hunt for an inexpensive like pink nail polish that was more opaque. I kind of wanted like a, you know, like a Barbie kind of dolly pink. And I think this one is not bad for the price. I think I paid around like two dollars for this. I think for this nail polish it took around like two, like around two coats to get like a nice um, opaque color. I think even with one coat it actually wasn't that bad, but I just like to do two because I always mess up painting my nails. A favorite app for November called Badly Drawn Faces. The mascot has a cute little like narwhal thing and I guess it's kind of like Pictionary except it's, you know, with uh, people's faces. Um, they have uh, fictional characters, real life people, you know, everything. It starts out, like it actually starts out and draws the face and you have to guess it before the drawing is done, then you get more points. Like, a lot of the drawings they have in here are really, really scary. Like, I'm just like, especially like the, the ones of the people I don't know, I'm just like, what the heck? Like, who is that? Crap. So I will move on to my favorite jewelry piece for November. Here it is. When I saw this piece online, I was like, oh my god, I have to get it. It looks so adorable. Like, oh, so cute, right? So they paired up with Anj Movement. He is a um, jewelry designer. One of Anj's signature motifs is the pretzel shape. So he just did this necklace with the different Sanrio characters like shaped as pretzels. And it, it is so adorable. And then it has like a thick yellow chain here. Even in the back they have this um, cute little pretzel. I feel like some like, I don't know, like a girl band like 21 or someone like would just totally wear this because it's so colorful and funky and like it's just adorable. Um, so I paid 10.80 for this. I'm gonna be talking about my favorite book slash manga slash graphic novel. I guess it'll change every month depending on what I read. This month it is the book called The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This cover here is actually like, there's like a hole. And then when you open it, it reveals like another picture inside. I actually just finished reading this book yesterday. A girl named Celia and a guy named Marco. And basically they are pitted against each other from, you know, their parental figures to in this like competition. The venue for the competition is actually the circus. So the story just follows them through their journey of the competition and there's like a love story there too. Really, really easy to read. Um, language is um, language is not that hard to get through. It is a very like magical type book. So if you like fantasy and you know adventure type books, then I think this book will be for you. So this is my favorite piece of clothing for November. This is a leather jacket from Forever 21 and um, I believe it costs me around like 30 almost $40. It goes well with like everything in my closet and you know even if you do have girly stuff you wear like a cute like floral dress underneath it. It's, I don't know it just brings like a bit of edginess to your outfit. It's fake pockets. I probably feel like a penny in there or something. They actually have real pockets. And the top um, has like a button clasp. As for the material, the outside is pretty soft. Um, it's actually 
it's a pretty thin jacket um you know so you're not gonna wear this for, like a winter coat or anything but it does keep like you know the wind away from you i thought it'd be fun to have like a cosplay favorite of the month or something like that my favorite cosplay for this month is actually by the lovely yaya han she's like the queen of cosplay. For a recent convention, she actually cosplayed as Queen Chrysalis from My Little Pony. The way she did it was just really, really beautiful. And I love the wig that she had. It was such a beautiful color. Uh, that was my favorite uh, cosplay for this month because I'm like a huge My Little Pony fan. Like I love, love My Little Pony. It's so adorable. And um, I actually cosplayed as Fluttershy for a couple conventions. I actually hand sewed the stupid Fluttershy costume, like the whole top and like, I made like a dress Basically, I made ears and cute little wings. I made everything by myself from scratch. So that was, was an amazing, amazing feat for me. Now I have a sewing machine, so I fixed that up. But I still want to continue improving that costume. Because I wanted to find like a light baby yellow fabric that matches her body more than the one that I had. Okay, so my favorite eye product of this month is actually the Maybelline Line Stiletto Liquid Liner. For many, many years, I didn't really like using liquid eyeliner. I think the problem with a lot of liquid liners, especially with like you know, the drugstore brands, the brush is just just horrible. Like why is my line never straight and never like nice and like you know it's always jagged and stuff and like it actually is the brush because like right now with this like it's just like, a nice smooth thing. The brush doesn't fight with you. The brush looks like this. It's, it's thin. It's like you know tapered at the ends. Really easy to control. Even when I have this on and I like rub my eyes, it doesn't come off. Um, so it's been a really reliable liquid liner. Um, so my last favorite is actually going to be, I think my, my favorite part every month. <laughs> it's going to be favorite toddy of the month. I think number one will have to be Daesung from Big Bang because I went and saw them in concert earlier this month. When I went to the concert, I bought, bought the shirt. Seeing him when he performed his solo, it was it was amazing. Especially when he had the harness and the wings, and when he was walking down the runway, I was like, oh, it looks like like a Victoria's Secret like angel model or something. So that is my November favorites month. I hope it was interesting. We'll see you soon.